Everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar with MLB 14, the show. We've got some more Jackie Robinson, of course, coming your way right here. Things have been going very, very well uh, over the past few episodes, but over the past few games, things have been bad. Um, yeah, so I was hovering right at like 400. Uh, I think it might have even been like 405 at one point for my overall batting average, and now I'm sitting at 275. So the last series that I had, it was just awful all around. I'm hoping that I finally get a chance to be able to bounce back because I know like in the games that I play, um, you know, that's always big for me because I don't want to simulate too many of these. I want to get as many training points as I can. But at the same time, I'm like, well, if I keep going through this slump, the only way I may be able to get out of it is by going ahead and kind of simulating some games. So it's kind of like a little bit of a trade off. Um, but, you know, of course, I want to make it to the majors and everything and I'm not going to be able to do that unless I you know, really focus on making sure I play pretty well. But I'm playing El Paso in this one. Again, the Albuquerque Isotopes is my team. So we'll see what we can take a look at doing in this game. Like I said, I just hope, you know, I can I kind of bounce back a little bit. So... Here we go with the first at-bat of the game. You can see I've been walked a few times, too, as my on-base percentage is sitting at 326, which I can tolerate this if this was the majors. But no, this is the minors. I know I can do better than this. So watching the first strike here. And I know I would mentioned the way that the computer is adapting to my style of play. Um, it's not just here in the Jackie Robinson series. It is now like with the A's too, where there are so many pitchers that are intentionally on the first pitch throwing a strike, knowing full well, I'm just going to sit there and watch it. So I don't know, it's pretty dangerous for me because if I go ahead and I start swinging at a lot of stuff at the beginning, well then, you know, pitch count for the computer is going to go ahead and drop, which means in the later innings, um, you know, they could still be in and, they could still be rocking it. So, I don't know. I just don't want to swing at anything that's stupid. But when they throw these strikes, I mean, they're right over the heart of the plate. So, double playing to start things off fielding-wise. And um, in this sit-down that I've had with this game, one thing that just really, really bothered me is uh, there seems to be like a little glitch for me where I can't move. So, like, a double play is obviously, you know, what, what's coming my way, but I can't go ahead and move towards uh, the bag. Or even if somebody tries to steal, I can't move over. So, I don't know. I just hope it's not a problem in this game. All right, so second at bat for Jackie. Oh, hey, what do you know? It's a ball. So I think I still am going to go ahead and just hold true to what I'm doing right now until it gets to the point, like maybe a postseason or something like that, where I can really go ahead and attack uh, the computer and everything as far as like, you know, just swinging at stuff, surprising them. Because, I mean, if it's over the heart of the plate, yeah, it's going to be nice, but I just don't want to get away from that. We're up three to nothing. 2-0 count for Jackie. Make that a 2-1 count here now. So I'll be watching to see what's coming my way. Now I'll be swinging at pitches too. Does have a little bit of a less than normal velocity, if that kind of makes sense. I think I used a double negative right there or something. Just didn't sound right. But yeah, slower than average velocity. So it means I did have to wait here a little bit. And he's going to get it talking to. I don't really understand why too much, but that's just a single for Jackie. Apparently, there have been a number of hits. I mean, that's probably what's contributing to the three to nothing lead that we have here in the top of the second. But here I go, break in and, jeez. Of course, you gotta swing at it here when I try and go ahead and steal. I was intentionally waiting for the second pitch. That way I could kind of measure what's going on at the beginning. That way if they try and go with a pitch out or something, like, you know, I'll be sitting there watching it, but no, he had to swing. Ugh. My team, I swear. But I guess I really shouldn't be too angry about it because, I mean, I'd rather we try and get the hits than not do anything at all. So, just means I didn't get the steal or anything. 
Top of four now, still three to nothing. Another one that goes into center field that looks just like the one that we had earlier. Now, the runner at second's gonna go ahead and stay, not try to advance, which I was hoping he would do. That way I'd have a guaranteed base almost at second. But just taking a semi-big lead doesn't matter because he's gonna strike out to be out number three. I feel like I'm getting no help from my team whenever I'm on base, but again, there, there's nothing I can do. So back to fielding now. Game's tied up. Okay, good, I can move. So it's absolutely essential that I, I field pretty well right here. Okay, six, four, three, double play. Got it with a little time to spare. So with the things that I've been focusing on uh, lately for attributes has been fielding just for the reason of it's pretty cheap and it does a lot for my overall rating. That overall rating is what's going to get me into the majors too. So a new pitcher here for Jackie. Fouling that one back. See, there I go, kind of going at the beginning, but that's one I probably should have laid off of. That's okay. Another foul ball. One of the things that have been really an issue for Jackie in in between last episode and this episode has really been the amount of foul balls that I've ended up hitting. It's just it's been crazy how many that I've hit. And it's just like, I know I can make contact with these, but just not where it needs to be. So a week ball hit on over to third and the throw will be out at first so yeah I've gotten a couple hits in this one but in the grand scheme of things it really hasn't meant that much at all no runs have come home they haven't even really been that big you know of a hit just drop short and center all right another double play no I guess it wouldn't be a road to the show series if somebody on my team did not commit an error at like the worst possible time because bases are loaded it's 10 to 3 with two outs and then that one's gonna hit pretty high so I have no problem getting underneath this and making the catch there we go inning over but damage has been done there is no way with these last couple innings that we're gonna go ahead and get seven runs to go ahead and tie it up. Oh well though. All right, so bottom of eight. Runners on first and second. I'm going right to me and jeez. Shortstop drops that one, but he's called out. So the manager here for El Paso comes out and there's that mysterious dust being kicked up around the plate nobody's even standing there it's the invisible man that's what it has to be but anyway it's going to still be called that he's out no change is going to be made there and that's going to be it here for this one so yes i did get a couple hits that's nice it's going to help the batting average a little bit but just overall i need to see some more out of jackie so i'm hoping in the next episode i've got some good news and some good highlights to be able to show you guys so thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Of course, more of this to come later on, so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz, but you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and as always, I hope you have a good one.